Hello, good people, and welcome again to today's episode of Licious Answers. I'm your host Mustafa with Licious Taste Wizard, culinary master, and superstar chef. Got it. And today we mean business. Hello, darkness, my old friend. We are going to unravel some fishy mysteries today and answer the internet's most asked questions about fish. So, chef, shall we start? I'm only going to start if you stop making your fish PJs. Well, chef, I can't promise that. See, I'm not so sophisticated. Oi! Now that I've convinced Chef Gaurav to come back, I think we should dive directly into the first question, which is how to know if your fish is fresh. So, when it comes to the freshness of fish, uh, we start with the uh, appearance which is, uh, you start with the eyes and you have to make sure that the eyes are bulging out. They need to be um, protruding out and they should never be sunken in. Sure. Okay. And then we look at the fish itself, which needs to have a nice shiny finish and should never be slimy. Okay. Then when we come to the smell, fish should smell like the sea. Okay. And uh, it shouldn't have any foul smell. And uh, the other thing is the gills. Uh, the gills have to be uh, red, dark red, bright red, never be uh, maroon or towards brown. Okay. So that's when you know that the fish is uh, decaying. Okay. So with Licious, we fly our fish in directly from the coast every day, all transported, chilled, never frozen. So whatever you order, you will always get fresh. And we also have a wide variety of cuts to choose from, from different types of fish, as you can see over here. Of course. Perfect. That's really in-depth information on the freshness of fish. So let's move on. Um, what are the different kind of fishes that we see here, Chef? Can you give our viewers some information? Because that's something a lot of them have been searching for online. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a wide uh, variety of fish over here. Uh, starting from here, we have uh, basa, which is um, one of the most uh, common fish eaten around the world, uh, mainly because it has a very neutral flavor and uh, it picks up flavor from whatever you add to it. So whatever marinade you want to it, if you're deep frying it, it'll always pick up whatever flavor you give to it. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Seer, the king of fish uh, here, mainly in India. Uh, we mainly use this cut for uh, frying, sometimes even in a curry. Uh, then we have white palm frit. Uh, it has a very light, flavor, very soft texture of fish. Uh, moving on, we have sardines, mainly eaten in South India and it has a very strong uh, pungent flavor when cooked. So, uh, not a lot of people like it, but uh, personally, I love it. And uh, perfect for frying and even curries. Are we going to have them whole? Huh? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> moving on, we have uh, rohu, mainly eaten in uh, the West Bengal region. This is a freshwater fish and can be used for curries and uh, for frying. Plus, we have uh, yellowfin tuna. These are cubes um, which are generally used for uh, curries here in South India. Thank you, Chef. All of this is officially awesome. <laughs> you know why? Because you get all of these cuts and fishes at Licious. Haha, <laughs> my smart brand plug. I officially have a headache. Anywho, moving on. Okay, now there's another section of the internet where there are just so many myths about consuming fish and cooking them. I'm going to now ask you about some of these myths and you know, so that you can tell me whether there's any truth to it, whether it's fact or fiction, right? Our own little version of Licious Answers rapid fire round, right? So, uh, the first one is eating fish will make you sick. That is false. Unless you have a specific seafood allergy, eating fish will not make you sick. Okay. Do fish have good fats? That is true. So, uh, fish like uh, salmon, mackerel, sardines, which have, uh, which are high in fat, uh, have omega-3 fatty acids, which are very good for con uh, controlling cholesterol. Oh, nice. Do all fish have mercury in them? That's not true actually. It's only uh, fish in certain areas uh, where they grow maybe next to uh, coal processing plants is where they can pick up mercury from them but not all fish have mercury in them. So remember guys, where you're buying or sourcing your fish from is very important. Okay, eating fish will increase cholesterol levels. That's not true actually. Uh, it's actually proven that 
fish can help control your cholesterol levels. You should not eat fish at night. That's not true. There's no ev evidence to suggest that you should not eat fish at night. Okay, does fish heat our body? It doesn't heat your body, no. <laughs> All right. Eating fish helps improve your skin and hair. That's true. Um, fish, uh, including fish in your diet, uh, has shown to improve skin and uh, hair health. Oh, good. Is it dangerous to consume fish and milk together? This is only dangerous if you have a um, dairy allergy or a seafood allergy, but uh, there are no studies to prove that if you eat them together that you will fall sick. I hope you heard that. This is one of the most searched questions. The next one, fish doesn't need to be cooked? This is actually a very tricky question because uh, there are some cuisines around the world uh, that do consume raw fish, yeah. but it's only certain types of fish that are consumed raw. Uh, like in sushi, you consume yeah. salmon raw or tuna raw. But uh, here, we always cook our, our fish through and through. So if you're, in a, if you're putting it in a curry or you're frying it, always say to cook it through and through. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, some of the most pertinent questions on the internet about fish, fact or fiction, answered for you. Now, moving on to cooking the fish. Another query on the internet that people really, really seem to search for is, how to prevent fish from sticking to the pan? So I have a few tips that should help you for, to prevent the fish from sticking to the pan. Okay. Um, actually, why don't I just show you? Okay. So the first thing you need to start out with is the pan. Okay. okay? Make sure you have a non-stick pan or a cast iron pan that is well seasoned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a non-stick pan here. I'm just gonna push up the temperature a bit. Now, the second thing you need to look out for is fat. Okay. Okay, fat is very important. It creates a layer between the pan and the fish and also flavor. Okay, awesome. so we have uh, coconut oil here. Um, right. I'm just gonna add uh, two teaspoons. Sure. Okay, this is the best for frying. The other thing you want to look out for is don't uh, overcrowd your pan. Sure. Okay. Um, take your time, fry it in batches, but don't overcrowd it because then um, you're you're gonna have problems with flipping it. It's gonna break. So, okay. So you maybe mean, two or three pieces at a time. So you okay. mean uh, there can be a lot of fish in the sea, but not in the pan. Yeah. And now we're going to put the fish in. So as you can see, the sear is quite yeah. big. So. Best to start with two pieces. Okay. Okay. And you want to hear that sizzle. That means your pan is hot enough. Okay. And if you add it into a cold pan, then you're not going to get the searing that you want on the outside. So we're going to sear the sear. Right. And how long do we um, cook them on so, one side? As you can see, about the the pieces, um, they're quite thin. Yeah. Okay. So they, the this fish is not going to take too much time to cook. Yeah. So maybe about two to three minutes on each side should be perfect. Okay. Okay. If you want it a little more crispier on the outside, you can yeah. even go up to four minutes sure. on each side. All right. So now we're going to flip our fish. Okay. So it's don't get scared. Okay. It's not too hard. So you just get a little bit under the fish and just shake so that the fish moves onto the spatula. Okay. And just flip it over. Okay, see. Wow, looks uh, good. You got a wonderful sear on. Now, why don't you do the next one? Don't mind if I do, chef. Okay, slide it under the fish. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah. shake. And, and gently, <laughs> oops. Not so gently. <laughs> not <Flip>. so gently. <laughs> flip. Good, not bad. You, you did it without breaking the fish. I yeah. was, uh, this was my uh, fish debut, so <laughs> don't mind it. <laughs> So now we'll um, we'll cook this again for about uh, two to three minutes uh, uh -huh. on this side, uh -huh. and then we can um, uh, then we can switch off the flame. Okay, chef, this looks great. So let's fish out the next question then, uh, which is how to check if the fish is done or how to check if it's cooked properly. Okay, so there are a few ways you can check if uh, fish is cooked and cooked properly. Uh, first one is a little bit technical, so um, fish needs an internal temperature of uh, 63 degrees Celsius. Okay. So um, ideally, if you want to use a thermometer, you can use a thermometer to check the uh, doneness of the fish. Okay. Now with this fish, um, this is a fry cut, right? This is a steak, which is thin. So ideally, uh, two to three minutes on each side will cook it perfectly. But with different cuts of fish, uh, if you go for larger steaks or whole fillets, 
uh, you might need to use a thermometer to check or you can do the poke test where uh, if you poke the fish it should not feel it should feel a little firm it shouldn't uh, sink in too much so that's when you know that the fish is cooked properly well i think it's time to poke us too chef because i think we are also done that's it no more fish for you oh okay 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 that was the last one i promise <laughs> well guys there you have it the internet's most asked questions about fish hmm looks yummy cooking is an art we've all heard this but the lesser known truth is that cooking is also a science and we are here to make cooking and science easy fun and delicious tuna into our next episode and let us know what we could have done better you guys have a fantastic day and we will see you soon again ta da bye <laughs>